So hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. It's time for the next episode of Bridgerton. Oh, last episode gave everything. I just want to thank you guys for being so, I don't know, welcoming, respectful, lovely in the comments. I've been doing reactions for Bridgerton and I think Queen Charlotte, yeah, I did Queen Charlotte and um, I think I did the first two seasons of Bridgerton on Patreon. Um, but I wasn't really sure, you know, once I did the cut down versions here on YouTube, I wasn't sure how people would respond if they'd enjoy them or like me and it's, it's been lovely so far it's it's a very very welcoming fandom it's a very nice <laughs> warm fandom so thank you for all the love i really appreciate it the more extended version of this reaction is going up over on patreon the link to that's in the description down below there's a bunch of patreon exclusive content as well going on over there like the shows that are exclusively for over there like reactions for angel x files star trek next gen um true blood handmaid's tale there's a bunch of stuff so the link like i said is in the description twitter instagram anywhere you can find me is also linked Last one ended on a cliffhanger. Poor Pen passed the fuck out at the party. It's like a tongue twister. Poor Pen passed the fuck out at the party. She's made by Miss Calva. She is cruel. The poor child has clearly been badly brought up. Look at how cruel the ton is. And how mean and backstabbing everybody is. You have a visitor. Like all she ever does is lock herself up in her room, reading and writing suspiciously. Nobody has pieced these facts Boy. together, no? Well, Perhaps you should not be here in case it is catching. So could you just like, please? I got writing to do. Oh, my mom, get the fuck out of the room. I know there was something you wish to tell me. Whatever it is. Colin, it my be. man, could you like rattle your brain a little bit inside your head Come and put a small back. little bit of thought? Certainly do not swim because The pieces would just fall together. I have something for you. Ooh, a present. I love presents. The jeweler has just finished setting it. A ring. <gasps> oh, this is gonna rip my heart out when he finds out about her being whistled down, isn't it? I don't wanna see it. I just want them to live in their little bubble of bliss. Uh-oh, uh-oh. What's all this ring? You've been writing. Oh, letters. To, uh, to share our happy news. I shall leave you to it. You bought that? And I do love the symbolism there of her ink-stained hands. You know what I mean? Instead of like blood stained hands or blood on your hands, she's got ink on her hands. Oh, the tree is happy and fluffy again. Okay. He has rescinded his offer of marriage. I am sending you to live with your Aunt Jo. You can write gossip about the sheep. I will write gossip about the sheep shaggers. I know my daughter. Lady Whistledown is an astute writer. We are selling the club. Ah, oh, that is good news. I'm always pleased when people take my advice to yourselves and in the best way possible by throwing a ball. Fuck yeah, um, throw a big, big fancy party. I love her style. She is just fabulous. I love her so much. Way entertaining. Lord Anderson. I'm very invested in her story. Forgive my with intrusion. Him, I simply Mr. Anderson. My Surely there is a way forward. I have faith you will find a way. Mm. But I do hope to see you soon. I like them an awful lot I. together. I just, I love her character anyway. She reminds me of my mom an awful lot. So I just, I love her and I want to see her happy. Is that Imagine Dragons? That is Imagine Dragons. There is no time like the present. Your family is clearly occupied. Yes, it's, it's the family. It's the Bridgerton family. We're always occupied. Oh, I do not believe they will hear me. We are to marry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy for them. Their their energy levels seem to match each other. Their storyline was one that was kind of buried underneath all the other ones that are gone on this season, but I've enjoyed watching theirs unfold. I would have assumed she would have got her whole own season though, because don't the Bridgertons all kind of get a season per like sibling to focus in on them? She just kind of didn't. Maybe she doesn't have her own book. I haven't read the books. So I don't know. Did you know she was Lady Whistledown? You Cressida. Quick Penelope this morning. Cressida. Yes. Yeah, I had no idea Cressida was it was her. I mean, listen. Um not about Cressida. Mm. Yeah. It's not lying. I hope so. She's like, I had no idea Cressida was her. I suppose it would be nonsensical for you to have befriended her if you knew, considering everything she's written. Well, what if we were already friends before I knew? Perhaps I can make Lady Whistle go away. Is she gonna try and talk to Penn about you it and be like, don't do this concept. anymore? Stop fucking writing! Would describe herself. Could you not tell she was speaking in code there too? Her, her use of language was very uh, well thought out and she danced around ever saying 
You know what I mean? Like, oh, you speak with Cressida? Yeah, I'll speak with Describe herself. You know, it's it's strange. I was going to tell him. But you did not. Well, yes, I and passed out. Came, neither did I. Because I see now that the truth would destroy Colin. And if he knew it was you all along writing about me, our family, Marina, if he knew how long I too have kept a secret from him, why tell him? When the better thing is for you to put down your pen. That's what I said last episode. Stop writing. Come on, stop. Oh. Especially now. Yes, you can. I have worked too hard for too long. Of all people, I will Okay, but if you do take credit for this, you're going to lose everything. Heart. Colin's heart. You cannot be both. See, if this was about, like, just having, you know, something for you, having something that you enjoy doing, like a woman having a hobby, a woman having a job, I'd say something. But, like, Lady Whistledown is damaging and meddlesome and it's hurt so many people's lives and destroyed lives. So I, I am on the side of just fucking stop. Yeah, she built it up herself. Yeah, it's her name and the title belongs to her. But it, it's hurt people. It's it's continuing to hurt people. And if it does come out that you're whistled down, God knows what will happen. It seems like a pretty easy option to just stop. Much of my life. Especially now that you've so much to lose. You had a good run for a while. But it's just gossip. You could have your best friend back. You could continue with your marriage, your, your engagement, your new life, you know? Is, is all of this really worth it? Is it worth risking everything that you could have in your hand? I will give you your reward as soon as you give me your latest issue. The one that should have been published this morning. Oh, I haven't written it. I, I've been busy. Her greatest strength is that she is an observer. Holy shit, there's a hole in her wig. What have you observed in your life other than yourself? Wow, you can see straight through that thing. Unless you can print a convincing issue, I do not wish to see you in my court again. When you fuck around too hard, then you actually get the job you applied for. I'm Lady Whistledown. It's like, okay, go write a convincing issue. Oh, sweet fuck, I never thought I'd get this far. As if he is the most important person in the world to cater entirely to your husband. Now she's wishes. seeing what marriage actually means, that it is making Wisdom your partner the, the center point of your world. Whistledown was always the center point of what hers. Ladies do not have dreams. They have husbands. I chose a match for security, and he could not even provide that. And my greatest wish has always been for you three to do better than I did. You don't get very moments of softness like that from her. That's rare. Your lucky Penelope, do not take that for granted. Mm. Well, I love him as a character, Benedict. I think he's, he's cool. Um, he's got a chill vibe to him, but I don't really care about this relationship at all. Should I? Is this important in the books? The winner of this game is whoever is the most fortunate. I'm the most fortunate amongst us because I have spotted another bottle. That's a big moment for him, selling the club. He loved that club. As stressful as it was, it was... it was his. Be of you no cause or just impediment why these two persons should not be joined together in holy matrimony. Ye are to declare it. No one better open their fucking mouth or I will skin you alive. Go forth in peace to love and serve the Lord. For the love of God, somebody get whistled down back into her writing chambers. I do miss her cousins. I know there is something you have been meaning to tell me. That's the third time you brought it up this episode, Colin. Let it go. Drop it, dude. In fact, there's something I've been meaning to tell you for a very long time. I love you. I have always loved you, Colin. Oh. I will spend a lifetime begging your forgiveness for not seeing you sooner. May I present Lady Keswick? Have you two met before? Lord Anderson. She better pleasure. not be trying to set them up together. I was just about to speak with someone. The pleasure is all mine. I'll let the two of you get acquainted. Uh, no need. I'm already acquainted with my bird over there. I want to go talk to her. Dude, go away, please. I wondered if possibly you would like to join me. So you might like to help me write the column. She wants. Cressida, do you know what, uh, what was? I do not wish to be your collaborator, and I cannot be your friend any longer. It's no wonder Penelope abandoned you. All you ever do is talk. There's the viper coming out of her. I've made something of myself. There's the bitch rearing its head. Oh, my does not matter if Francesca is happy. But they do if the Queen suspects them. She may feel emboldened to oppose their match. Wasn't that wonderful? Yes. <laughs> In a way, the portico seals the vista from the square. Which what was that look about? Better. What is that look about? Oh, oh, that was either... Like a jealous sadness that she can't be that out 
going as Penelope? Or that was a s forlorn, sad longing glance that she isn't with Penelope? Am I reading into that too much? That felt like a very pointed glance, you know what I mean? I just planned the greatest wedding Mayfair has ever seen. Mm, but it's music to my ears. Now, for the case. And her mom are bonding, finally. It has been too long. Yeah, it's been forever. That is what I have come to tell you. She's stopping. I'm letting Miss Cowper take credit for the I calling. completely forgot that she was the other person who knew. There was someone else that knew. My mama sent me for some fabric samples for my wedding dress. I can't imagine ever giving that feeling up. Yeah, I know, but like, this is such a sticky situation. This isn't like it's a passion that she just loves to do, like a side project that her husband doesn't agree with. This is writing a gossip column that has destroyed lives and it's been nothing but controversy. You know, and she has written scathing things about the people that she loves. So like, I... I would rather just stop and quit than have to own up to that and destroy every single aspect of your life. I'm pulling her diary. My lord, she will lose all prospects. I do not care. Five thousand pounds may not be much to live on. It may be enough to help lure your husband from the continent. So you have got to Some. write one hell of a column. We must get that reward. Read me what you have written. Dear reader. <clears throat> That's all we got so far. Dear reader, it is I. Lady Whistledown. Today I bring you much gossip from about the many lands. Okay. Is that all? That's not good. <laughs> so far. Will she try and write something? That's what I'd do. I'd be like, yeah, baby, you're after fucking up monumentally. I don't know how you're getting out of this. Give me the pen. Give me the fucking pen. Do you fill your time with any creative pursuits? Do you write? No. I... I... <laughs> Sorry, you must be allergic to bullshit. <laughs> he is a fucking artist. What are you on about, man? Why are you lying? He spends all of his time supporting the theatre. I see. It's how Tilly and I met. Mr. Bridgerton is dry. Come, oh, Benedict. Benedict. Is there Benedict. a spark at this table? Ooh, what are we picking up on here? <laughs> the vibes are all over the place this episode. Looks like there's a big old TARDIS in the middle of the room. Whatever the fuck that is. Welcome to our party, Your Royal Majesty. You liking the tunes? Lackluster at best. <sighs> what the fuck? You were fucking saying, Your Majesty? Not every attachment must be dramatic and hard fought. I love him, Mama. The night before I was to be married. I very nearly escaped to freedom. But it was you who betrayed me to our father. If you will excuse me. Wait, was that true or did she have it wrong? Because it looked like he was shocked by that. Was he shocked because he had simply forgotten? Or was he shocked because she, she, had, she took it up wrong? The wine has also made you rather charming. I should go ensure Tilly has not worked herself up into a We're flirting on this balcony. Would you... Perhaps like to join us. Upstairs. Oh fuck me. This truly is. We spotted you from I, across uh, the bar and we really like your vibe. You wanna uh, fuck? I'm supposed to is that what this somewhere. is? Yeah. Forgive me. Private walls in the chat and we'll be married. Jamie Lovato! I was so blindsided by the fucking threesome situation. That is a banging song and it's actually quite perfect for this moment. Let us squirm a little. She I'm seems to be quite confident. She doesn't seem to be squirming all that much. I simply wanted to give you a gift. Newest tissue of Lady Whistledown. She has returned! Your one is creaming her petticoat in the corner. Clutching at the Lady Whistledown issue. This author must be rather virtuous. That was totally her mother, I wasn't it? That wasn't her. She's, she's not capable of writing something like that. You may now know my name, but have no doubt, I know you even better. I never should have befriended her. <sighs> Befriend her again and stay on her good side. Be besties with her. Because I'm going to publish again. With one issue, I can discredit Cressida. It's like a and lash and rain outside, it's adding to the crescendo of the end of this episode. The other voice. Let me use it now, did you so good? So she's got to get the fuck home, somehow write a bitch in column that's going to blow whatever Cressida does out of the water. And then we begin this dance of the two whistle downs. Anything for Lady Whistledown? 
Okay, so we got an ending, so seemingly going well. When is everything gonna hit the fan? Oh, sweet mother of fuck. It would appear so. What if I told you I was starting my own blog? I got nothing. <laughs> oh my god, finally it is all coming out. As I said at the beginning of this video, you guys, if you want to check out the more extended version of this reaction, the link to that is in the description down below. It goes up over on Patreon. I had to fight back the tiredness there. I did not sleep at all last night. And that episode just took it the fuck out of me. Twitter, Instagram, anywhere you can find me is also in the description. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I, sh I have to go to edit this now to make sure I can somehow get this posted by tonight. So I'm running to the editing software the way she ran to the printing press. Thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you all soon.